Hi everybody and welcome to the third Airport Modernization Summit. My name is Varun Vijay Singh. I am the Marketing Director at Saab AB. Um, I look after the public safety and air traffic management uh, for the India region. Uh, I'm here today presenting the remote tower to uh, my colleagues. Uh, as you know, India has uh, a very sparsely populated uh, far-flung regions and to get these connected uh, Saab has an engineering solution which is called the Digital Remote Tower. What the Remote Tower is, is uh, uh, out of the window view of the traditional brick and mortar tower, it replaces that. So it is uh, 14 cameras looking over uh, airfield, which will relay that out of window view to somebody anywhere uh, in India. All you need is a good digital internet connection. Uh, once, uh, so what are the benefits of this? Uh, the, uh, the, the tower is a fraction of the cost of the traditional brick and mortar towers. And, uh, the, and, and the controller at these locations, which are controlling another location, can control many airports at the same time. So, uh, so this helps us greatly in many aspects. First, uh, it can, uh, we can start utilizing, underutilized airports in uh, far-flung areas such as the Northeast. So from, uh, say, Manipur, you could uh, control two, three other airports which uh, they have planned to come up uh, so from Imphal. Uh, now, so take for example, uh, uh, an aircraft takes off from Airport A. So this, this controller will be looking at that aircraft taking off and he will switch to the other airport uh, on his screens and make it land. So this is uh, basically true air traffic control in demand. During the time when the airport is not in use, you don't waste resources by keeping somebody there. You just switch to that airport when it's needed. This fits in per uh, perfectly with the RCS and Uran scheme uh, with smaller budget airports now coming into uh, use in India. Uh, the, uh, due to the, uh, if you look at Sweden, uh, we have a very similar structure of the country, which is uh, a long country with sparsely, uh, sparsely populated population. And uh, here we have many airports throughout the country. Now to connect all these airports, what one does, uh, we can't have uh, air traffic controllers in each of these airports at all the time. So what Sweden did was install these airports at all install these uh, air traffic controllers at all these airports. Saab is one of the first um, uh, operators of the remote tower. We've been operational since 2015 with 20,000 hours under our belt. We have four remote towers currently in Sweden, uh, with uh, one in the UK, uh, Australia, the US, Norway, and a bunch of other places. Uh, so as as I explained earlier, uh, in India, we see this as the perfect uh, way to get in and to increase regional connectivity uh, with the RCS uh, scheme. Thank you very much.